Okay, so here's the part spreadsheet that we want to import. You can see up here that these are not the Volusion Store's column names, so we're going to have to change them. So we'll go over to the other spreadsheet and we'll take product code, just copy it over at, under over part number because that's what it looks like right here. And the rest of these, I'm not going to, I know them by heart, so I'm just going to type them in. This is going to be product description. As you can tell, I've done a lot of imports. This one will be product weight. This one will be UPC underscore code. And you'll probably run into this too. You can see here, cat page on this particular spreadsheet doesn't really go anywhere. And when you run across columns that you don't know where to put, you have two options. If you don't need the information, just delete the column. If you do need the information, but you don't know where to put it, just put it in a custom field. And in our case, we're just going to put it in custom field one. Retail price, this will be list price. And category ID will be category underscore ID. Now, when we look at this, there's actually only a few things in here, just down here. And also, the chances of your particular spreadsheet coming from your particular system lining up with our categories from our particular system are very, very, very slim. Only usually that would happen if you copied over your store to another store. But in this case, there is no way these categories are actually going to line up with the current categories that we have set up for the store, so we might as well just delete them and manually do it. Now, you can import the categories. If you know how to do that, there is a way that you can actually export out the categories from the store and make them line up correctly and stick them on the list here. Um, but we're not going to give them that. That's really advanced Excel. As I mentioned before, you need a product name in order to import new products. And since these are all new products, we don't have a product name anywhere. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take this product description field, or entire column, sorry, and copy it into a new place and just call it the product name. Now the order of these fields actually doesn't matter. You can have product code be the very last thing in the column in the spreadsheet and it'll still work fine. All right, now that we got our fields marked, 